Are you thinking about hosting a virtual fundraiser and need some pointers? The year 2020 was challenging for most of us. Nonprofits in particular felt the pandemic pinch as they had to cancel or postpone long-standing fundraising events due to restrictions on social gatherings. And thus, the virtual fundraiser was born. One major perk of virtual fundraisers is that there's no limit to the number of people who can take part because anyone can join in from any location. They're also less expensive to produce and sometimes even open the door to new donors who may not have otherwise participated. I'm Noel with Jotform, and I could go on and on about the pros of virtual fundraisers, but instead, I'll give you what you came for, the five simple steps it takes to host a virtual fundraiser of your own. Let's get into it. First up, you should identify what type of virtual fundraising event you'll be throwing. You could probably adapt your signature event to an online one, but what if you consider this an opportunity to try something new? Think about your audience. Will your event be for families with children or adults only? Who is your target demographic? Are you courting millennials or major donors? Here's a helpful list of virtual fundraising event types. You could coordinate a gala, an auction, a performance type show like a comedy show, talk show or lecture, an online game, a behind the scenes virtual tour, or even a cooking class. Most events, regardless of type, will run anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Once you've picked the type of event you'll be organizing, it's time to determine the technology you'll need to make it happen. Ask yourself if you'll be broadcasting your event live at a specific time or pre-recording it. Live broadcasts can add a layer of stress, which is why some organizations choose to pre-record an online event. On the other hand, live streaming may be more engaging for your audience. You could also pre-record some segments and play them intermittently during the live broadcast to give presenters and hosts a break. Perhaps the most important technology component of a virtual fundraiser is the streaming platform. The most common platforms are YouTube Live, which is best for hybrid events that include live streaming and pre-recorded elements. There's Facebook Live, which is best if that's the platform your audience is most familiar with. There's also Zoom, which is great for more complex events, like when you want to use breakout rooms to group people together for activities. You'll also need an online fundraising tool to accept donations during the event. Bidding for Good and DonorBox are great options for auctions. You can also use Jotform's simple online donation form for those who want to donate. The next step is creating an online event registration form for people interested in attending. You'll want to gather attendees' full names and email addresses so you can send them event info and donation instructions. If you're going to sell tickets to your virtual event, try using Jotform's online ticket purchasing form that allows you to accept secure online payments and then instantly generate a detailed guest list. It's that easy. Next up, it's time to promote, promote, promote. Create a landing page on your organization's website that's dedicated to the virtual event. Describing the format and clearly stating how to register, donate, and attend. This page will be your attendees' go-to information hub. In the weeks leading up to the event, post consistently on social media to target your audience. Be creative with your promotions to pique people's interest. You could create a short but memorable video, ask for an interview with a local news outlet, or announce the event at a relevant public interest group gathering. And last but certainly not least, put the fun in fundraiser. Once your guests have arrived at your online event, you'll want to keep them there. Be engaging as much as possible and make it a fun experience for all. Try using the streaming platform's chat option to encourage interaction among guests. Ask guests to dress as they would if they were attending the event in person and encourage them to share photos. You could also share a cocktail recipe and demonstrate how to make it in the minutes leading up to the event. There are endless creative ways to keep your participants engaged and having fun. Virtual fundraising events can be just as successful as in-person events and sometimes even more so if done right. Don't miss out on another year of fundraising. Go virtual and continue your great work. Let's do a quick review. If you're looking to host a successful virtual fundraiser but aren't sure where to start, just follow these five steps. First, 
identify the type of event. Second, determine the necessary technology you'll need to successfully host your event. Third, set up your registration and ticket purchasing processes online. Fourth, promote your event. The fifth and final step is to have fun. Thanks for watching JotForm. I'm Noel. See you next time.